Hyperparameter tuning is a very important thing in machine learning, but it has a very much time time consuming activity as well. Today, I am going to tell you an automated way by just writing a few lines of Python code, and you will you can automate the whole hyperparameter tuning process as well. We will go through an example of machine learning code where, for the sake of example, we'll be using random forest for a digit digits related data set and we'll see how we can uh, automatically fine tune our hyperparameters right uh, probably this is the only thing the hyperparameter tuning is the only thing in the whole pipeline of machine learning or ai where we need to give our own input but here by using this tool this tool that is called optuna uh, we are going to automate this whole process very simple very easy Stay in touch. My name is Zia. I am lead instructor at AI Sciences. And if you are interested into data science, artificial intelligence, you want to learn anything about data, big data, our platform is available for you guys. We have uh, developed developed more than fifty courses that are targeting the beginners, how beginners can start their career in artificial intelligence. So getting started with the topic, what is Optuna? What is this magic tool that can help us automatically um, automatically um, fine-tune our hyperparameters? So it is an optimization framework. Optuna is, 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 an, is an optimization framework that can automatically fine-tune our hyperparameters based upon the principles of Bayesian optimization. Now, if you don't know about Bayesian optimization, don't worry about it. It is not going to be a mathematical or prob probability re related class. Um, I just wanted to let you know, behind the scene, it is not using the brute force algorithm. It is using Bayesian optimization, which is way more faster than the brute force. Um, apart from that, it can be used. The Optiona can be used in any framework like scikit-learn, like XGBoot, like PyTorch, TensorFlow, and so on and so forth. Right. So without wasting any time, uh, let's jump straight into our uh, collab. You can also use it in your notebook, in any Python uh, uh, IDE or whatever you're using. Right. So first of all, uh, we are importing, obviously, Optuna, uh, which is our library for now. How to use it, I'll let you know. Uh, and then we have, um, we are importing from Scilab. We are importing a data set called load digits, the digits related data set where we have 10 classes to predict 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, and then we have train test split. Then we have random forest classifier to, to use it as a model. And we will fine tune the parameters of random forest. Random forest mainly has two hyperparameters. One is the depths of the forest. And the other parameter is number of estimators, number of trees per, per depth. So we'll see how our Optuna is going to optimize these two hyperparameters. Then we have accuracy score to measure the accuracy score, obviously. And then by using Optuna.Visualization, this Optuna also provides us the visualization tools as well, so that we can realize the performance of the matrices, performance, the accuracy performance or error performance of the model by writing just one line of a code. So we are importing uh, plot param importances so how much importance is there for each hyperparameter then plot contour and then we have plot slice what are these you will check it in a minute then we are importing uh, we are actually initializing the data set in the digits then simple train test split is being performed we are passing uh, digits dot data digits dot target test size is 20 percent uh, and we are passing the random data as well that's it right so let's run it and it should produce an error. Yes, it says import error, no module named Optuna. So we need to, first of all, obviously install Optuna. And here we'll say exclamation mark, pip install um, Optuna space scikit dash um, learn. And let's see if it works. Let's run it. Cool. Seems like it is working and it is installed now. If and it says successfully installed, right? So now if I run it, it should work now. And 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 
it is important scikit learn as well as learn yeah there we go so it is working perfectly fine now what i have to do is i'll have to define a function called let's call it objective function right and in this objective function we will have a trial object right now um in this function we have we, we mainly have two hyperparameters that we want to find you right for specifically for random forest so we are going to define both of those hyperparameters so first of all is number of estimators and how do we define it we'll say trial dot so trial is an object that we will pass it from the code later on don't worry about that the trial dot suggest right so we want um this obtainer the trial to suggest us the best number of uh, estimators and uh, okay so suggest underscore integer so we want an integer to be suggested and here we'll say suggested as number of estimator estimators and here we are going to pass a range so range is going to be 50 um, and 300 between 50 to 300 so any rough idea that you think what is going to be the rough range or, or estimation of your hyperparameter is uh, you will pass it over here by the way it is not going to use all the combination it is not going to go through the brute force algorithm right um, it is going to go through the bayesian optimization algorithm so the next thing is max max depth so max depth is going to be again trial dot um suggest underscore again it is going to be an integer and this is going to be its name is going to, to be max come on depth and its range is going to be let's say we'll start from five and we'll go until 30 right so now we have a range of 50 to 300 in estimators and 5 to 30 in max depth so almost 250 possible values are there and almost 25 possible values are there so if you check their combinations their combination would be more than 6000 we are not going to try each one of them so again we are going to make use of bayesian um, optimization technique now random forest algorithm here we will say random forest classifier we are going to pass what into it so number of estimators is going to be again we have that number of estimators estimators so we'll say number of estimators right that we uh, initialized over there so and one more thing which is needed is max depth and, and max depth is also available at one of the previous lines cool um let's also pass the random state as well so random state is going to be 42 cool yeah our um our, our, our model will be ready at this line rs dot fit so that we can train our model so we will pass x underscore uh mm -hmm. train and then we'll also pass um y underscore train right yeah i think spelling mistake is there no we're good cool so um training is done now we want to check out the accuracy so accuracy is going to be um random forest dot predict right and we pass it x underscore test and yeah we're ready and finally we will return the accuracy cool now our objective model is ready and we will be creating the object of optina now so we'll say study since it, it's going to be an experimental thing so let's call it study and we'll say optina dot create underscore study okay so here we'll say the direction is going to be now we have two directions one is maximization and the other one is minimization obviously we usually have two problems either we have to minimize the error or we have to maximize the accuracy so here since our objective function is using accuracy so we will 
be using maximization over here. So we'll, we'll say maximize. But if you're using adder function over there, then you can use minimize as well. So we have study and then we'll say study finally, the last thing. So we'll say study um, dot op, sorry, optimize. And here we will say what? Now we'll pass two things to this, um, uh, uh, to, to this optimize method. One is the objective function, right? And the other one is number of trials, N underscore T-R-I-L, trial. How many number of tries do we want to perform, right? So for example, I'll say we want to perform 50 tries. Usually we should go with the uh, number of more than 10 to 20 tries. Why? Why? Because I'll let you know in a minute, right? So I'll go with 50 tries. And then finally, not finally, but almost finally, we'll print out the results. So we'll say um, best hyper parameters and here we'll say what are the best hyperparameters? So study dot best underscore parents, right? So these are going to be our best parameters. And same goes out over here. If we want to check out the best accuracy at that point. So we'll say study dot best underscore value, right? Okay, um, now if I run it, it will go on for 50 times. And meanwhile, let's talk a little bit. Let's see when it gets started. Come on, come on. Okay, I think it is getting started. But before that, we have an error. It says N underscore pro. Oh. So we have an, it is an underscore trials with us, not trial. Let's see if we have any other error. Yes, we have it. It says name trial is not defined. Uh -huh. Where in number of estimator, O O O T R I A L. So running it again. Okay, so it is working. A bit of mess in output, but don't worry about that. I'll I'll uh, clear it at that. Okay. Now, meanwhile, it is working. Let's talk a little bit. This optimization technique works on two principles. One is it checks out the best values for hyperparameters near the local minima, right? Which is called exploration. The other principle is exploitation. It also randomly checks out at other points to see if there is any other better local minima, minima or maybe if we are lucky enough to get the, the the overall universal minima as well, the global minima that we call. Um, so this is how this Optuna actually works. But before that, we have an error over here that says no trial are completed yet. Okay, let's see why it is here. Well, it does work. By the way, let's check out one of these trials. So here it says, let's start from the first trial. Okay, there is the first trial. Come on. Okay, so here it says, um, for the first trial, it says, uh, num if number of estimators are going to be 113 and maximum deaths is going to be 19, then, oh, it is going to be an error. Ah, so we made a basic mistake over here. So this is not how we calculate the accuracy, come on. So this is going to be our, uh, actually Y predict, right? And now we are going to calculate the accuracy and accuracy is go going to be, pre uh, before that we are con we, we, we were considering accuracy as these matrices which, which were, was actually the prediction, right? So accuracy is going to be the accuracy score that we imported at the beginning. And we will pass y underscore predict to this. And then we will also pass y underscore test to this, right? Now it should work fine. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, great. 
Oh, not great. Yeah, great. So if you see over here, if the number of estimators are going to be 262 and depth is going to be 6. So this is going to be, this is actually a random pick. Initially, it is going to be a random pick. Then the accuracy is going to be 0 0.96, which means 96%, right? And then uh, the other random pick is going to be if number of estimator are, estimators are going to be 169, depth is going to be 24, then this is going to be the accuracy. Now, initially, it is going to perform a few random picks. And then whatever the best pick it has got, it will perform a bit of exploration around it. And then if it will not find interesting results over there, it will go around and it will go for exploitation. It will randomly go to the to the farther points and see if it can find any better solution over there or not, right? So after 50 trials, you see, um, so it says, okay, so we are done with 50 trials. Now let's perform, let's very quickly perform a bit of um, data visualization. Initially, if you check it out over where, over here, we are importing these three plots, right? Not any longer codes, only one line of a code for each plot. So plot.param importance. So it will tell us how much importance of each parameter is there. So let's say, okay, let me clear it a little bit. Okay, dot, not dot, I'll pass study into it, dot, I'll say show. Okay, let's check it out. And, and, and it is taking a minute. Okay, cool. So here we go. It says there is 93% of importance out of 100. 93% of importance is there for maximum depth. And there is 7% of importance there for the number of estimators. These values may change depending upon the data sets as well. Now, um, talking about other realizations that we have, let's clear it a little bit. Um, procedure is exactly the same. You, all you have to do is you'll have to pass study and then you'll have to say, hey, show me this plot. It is a contour plot. So here we go. You see, uh, the best points, we have all two best points almost. So this is also a best point, feasible trial. And here we also have a best point. So if we have uh, the depth is 5 and number of estimators are 261, then we can get good result. And here, as you see, if we have 5 estimators, uh, sorry, 5, the depth is 5 and the estimator is 84, est estimators are 84, then again, we are getting um, good results. Cool. Uh, moreover, the last plot is the slice plot and let's see what we can get out of it. So we'll say, um, we'll pass steady to it and we'll say show and here we go. Okay, cool. So here it is dissecting both of these parameters individually and you can see uh, the plot, the kind of a scatter plot for maximum depth as well and for number of estimators as well. By the way, objective value means if your objective is going to be accuracy, then this is this objective value will represent the accuracy. In our case, it is going to be accuracy, but sometimes it is going to be the error value as well. But if you're using error values, then do not forget to use minimize over here instead of maximization. So now, even if you have, right now we have only two hyperparameters. Even if you have hundreds of thousands of hyperparameters, it's going to be in a click. Only a few lines of Python code by using Optuna and you will get the, the best values for your hyperparameter. Now, even hyperparameter tuning is also getting automated. Having said that, signing off. Mm -hmm.